What's up, Geminis? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Gemini geniuses for the 18th of June, 2020. Through the 30th. You guys, I've been playing these songs and shit trying to pump myself fuck up, Gemini. Yes, for the gods. And I have a special song for you, Gemini. I feel like a lot of you things are going by pretty fast or they're going by very slow. But this is the song that I have for my lovely Geminis and I'm going to play it for you. Hopefully I won't get in trouble because I already didn't got in trouble in the Pisces video. So Hopefully, you know, shit will go smooth. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the song, Gemini's. This is dedicated to you, baby. Are you ready, baby? Up, oh, see, up, oh, see. I went into the Pisces. I don't went into the Pisces. Uh oh. Gemini, some of y'all could be dealing with Pisces. But here go the song. Y'all already know. Stevie Nicks is a Gemini. Okay, don't do me. <laughs> yes, I love it, damn it. Gemini's. <coughs> we don't even have to get <coughs> to the main part of the song. <coughs> Some of you guys are experiencing that edge, baby. <laughs> And if you're not, things could have slowed down for some of you guys. But Gemini, Stevie Nicks, up in this motherfucker, the age of 17, up in this bitch. She been going in my head, okay? Now, her lyrics, they be talking to me, baby. Yes, they do. Let's see. We're going to get the overall energies for you, Gemini. And then we're going to see what's popping with the uh, career. Or what the motherfuckers call life purpose. That's what they're called, yeah. So here we go, babies. Very first card. We have the Page of Wands, baby. So this could be somebody who is 17 or somebody who acts 17 like a motherfucker. But you definitely have some good news that's coming to you, Gemini. Could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. But I feel some of you guys, there could be some sort of coin purse. Or there could be some sort of wallet that might be important to some of you guys putting some new news into that motherfucker. But I also have the Queen of Swords up in this bitch. Okay, the queen of bitches. So, I'm already getting that some of you guys are definitely taking care of yourself. You're like, bitch, I need the truth or what? Okay. So, I'm getting that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be concentrating on yourself. Also seeing a lot of things changing for you, Gemini. 
with the will of fortune here there's definitely some sort of time circumstance or something with timing that's happening i'm also seeing for some of you guys you could be a little weary about um this could be somebody that's bringing in some financial issues towards you with this king of pentacles in reverse but i'm also seeing with the nine of swords you're coming out of worry the materialistic worry for some of you guys it could be a scorpio that's in your presence okay or just a rejuvenation of self up in this motherfucker but time is going to be timing is going to be very important for a lot of you gemini's i do see the two of cup energy here so there is something in love coming about that you're going to be sharing a connection overall gemini so for some of you all this could be partnerships this could be uh building up on the progression of uh of connections I'm also seeing uh, some of you guys could be dealing with uh, chocolates or there could be some sort of sweets that you might be dealing with. This looks like some sort of uh, ice cream cake or ice cream cookie or something like that. But I'm definitely getting sweets and drinking Gemini, okay? So sweets and having a little drink and drink. You could be dealing with... Uh, a bartender with this temperance energy you also could be dealing with sagittarian but i'm feeling like for some of you guys you're finding a balance between a lot of your structures it could be your connections okay collaborations i'm also seeing some of you guys are picking the money off the tree honey and starting a new idea up in this motherfucker with the ace of wands so I feel like you're going to be keeping yourself busy. I feel new beginnings and sexual activity or just passionate things that ooze off of your body that people can't resist are going to be shown. So you got crystals. Your connection with crystals, gemstones, is a channel for healing energy, Gemini, and freedom. You're free to do what the fuck you want to do. Oh, shit. We also have author. You need... You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed and make the time to write it. You also have leadership and music. Uh-oh, Gemini's. So I'm definitely getting there. Could be some sort of career change, but you're bringing in a lot of infinite abundance. Okay, you could be building up a new career. You also could be using a lot of your divine purpose with helping uh, devote yourself to others because you are you are in this abundance of infinites that's what i'm seeing but i'm also getting music your connection to music is healing for others and yourself so whether you listening to your speakers blasting singing it playing an instrument okay blowing it touching it stringing it winging it <laughs> there's definitely some sort of change that's happening it could be that you're showing a lot of uh influence with this leadership card here as well or you're going to be the person that's taking the next step okay showing people what's new because that's what i see a leader the leader comes to that understanding and the conclusion of a lot of different mind frames and perspectives and you're going to be seeing where you're of great usage in this world okay whether it be with music counseling okay being that that listening ear you guys also could be an angel to someone helping them give a lot of divine guidance okay instead of worrying some of you all might need to talk to your angels talk to your spirit guides your fairies whatever you believe in buddha jesus jesus uh the weed the trees i don't know what you believe in baby but make sure that you know you're talking to your spirit or your spirit guides are going to be very important giving you messages and a lot of things that will be very influential and something to hold on to okay so let's find out what's going on in love my Geminis. I'm going to get the Romance Angels. Let's see what's popping for my Geminis. For the rest of motherfucking June up in this bitch. Spirit, give it to me for my gems. My Gemini geniuses up in this bitch. We got, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay. And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So some of you guys might be dealing with a partner that you've known before. You might be getting some advice from your friends on how you're going to make this connection work. I'm also seeing children could be very important for some of you. Your life, your love life is being affected by children. So for some of you guys, it could be that children might be influenced. Some of you guys, I'm seeing paintings here. 
I'm also seeing um, a lot of enchantment when it comes down to memories, childhood memories. I'm also getting for some, because I'm getting a lot of angels as well and a lot of spirit guides. With your love life, there is a romance of a lifetime. Somebody's going to be experiencing true love, okay? Because you got a wedding and a possible reconciliation coming up or a honeymoon that's being planned, baby. But you got that codependency and soulmate that was stuck together. So you might be dealing with a soulmate that has this codependency like i was explaining in the video before a few videos before in the card talk that there was definitely like a difference between how people were raised what their addictions are if there's different there's different levels to people's addictions whether it's black whether it's white whether it's good or bad in between halfway there or halfway not okay 50 50 okay but i feel like um for some of you guys, you're going to be analyzing what is true love and what is codependency. So this could be somebody you might feel is a parasite or somebody that's a succubus, okay? But I'm also getting that um, for some of you guys, there's a lot of things in your life that someone is allowing to happen. And I'm getting that it could be because you have such an attraction to this person. There also could be some new love for some of you Geminis. Okay, but I feel like there's definitely an attraction here that's coming in. You might be wiping shit out and resurfacing things, okay, and putting whatever it is that you need into it, good or bad, and you're going to have those results. So very first card here is the Ace of Cups, so you definitely have a lot of love that's being poured onto you, or you're pouring this onto someone and showing them how it's done, okay? feel like some of you guys might be out doing a motherfucker with this cup this shiny golden cup here you might need to let them this could be them showing you the love that you need that golden love all right i'm also seeing this could be something that is of a lifetime whether it's a new love starting over with somebody old with somebody from the past there's definitely a bright new beginning that's happening in love offers this could be closely connecting yourselves a lot more I'm getting Ten of Cups, Four of Swords here. So some of you guys, I see some some of you all taking vacations, Gemini, or there's a rest or some time that you're going to be taking away to find out what's making you happy with this Ten of Cups. Because the Ten of Cups is all about your fucking happiness. I'm seeing some of you guys suited and booted and dressed very well to a T. Oh, I'm parched, Gemini. Could be why the Ace of Cups is here, that somebody is trying to fulfill your thirst. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how they feel about you. Definitely could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so they feel like they're on the move with you, or you guys could be moving, or there's some sort of move that's getting ready to take place. You guys are the fucking prize, or somebody's got an offer. That's being made to them, Gemini, okay? This definitely could be a change, perhaps. Could be a change of emotions, of feeling like you have to withdraw, withdraw or be stuck. It's definitely how they feel about you. They also feel like um, you telling them to kiss your heels or something, or somebody's shoes is very significant, okay? For some of you guys, the moon could be also significant as well, or seeing some sort of trees, or different palm trees could be very significant. I'm also getting beachfront, date nights, those type of things. This person definitely sees you as somebody who's willing to travel, get around, see some truths. I'm also seeing with the world energy accomplishments and completion. Now, you could be dealing with a, Pi a possible Pisces with this moon energy here. They feel like you're very hidden and mysterious in your ways. You also could be a tarot reader or somebody who's into the occult. Could be a witch, a Wiccan. Okay, you could be a shaman, whatever the case may be, honey. Somebody definitely sees you as mysterious, okay? Or you could be hiding a lot of emotions, is what I'm seeing here, Gemini. But you have the Ten of Pentacles. They definitely see you as somebody who's a go-getter and somebody who's ready, ready to make things move and ready to make things happen with that Ten of Pentacles. They definitely know that you're ready to have that partnership, okay? So, I feel... Um, some of you guys have some major changes coming with a partner. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. I'm also seeing Virgo Taurus Capricorn. 
could be dealing with an Aries as well. Five of Pentacles. Let's see what's to come next. Feel somebody's very, they feel left out from you, Gemini. It could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries from the past, but a very manipulative person. Okay, I'm also getting a Sagittarian energy that could be watching you as well, too. Let's see what's up to my gems for the rest of June. We got a card falling. Free falling, baby. Somebody could be free balling. We got the nine of one energy. <laughs> Gemini, somebody's definitely hurt. It could be Leo Sagittarius Aries, like I said. Could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries a feminine or a masculine, but I'm definitely getting feminine here. It could be a witchy energy that's been watching you for quite some time. I'm getting that they're definitely going from bruised to having a crown. So this person sees you as, you know, somebody who's minding their own motherfucking business and getting what they want. But they are also envious of you as well, Gemini. So you need to be aware of the people that you're keeping in your company. But I do see what's to come as you're happy in your independence and in your essence. But I feel with the Hierophant energy, there might be some sort of... Somebody feels uh, very closed in. Like they have some sort of um, obligation or there could be a... Um, I'm getting somebody's getting like ownership or something like that. Could be a jail situation as well. This bitch look locked up too. She could be locked up in her brain as well with her dumb ass. All right. But I'm definitely feeling like for some of you guys, you there might be this mental blockage that's happening. But spirit is definitely saying things are going to be going. You guys are going to be juggling multiple things. Could be four different energies that you're juggling as well. Gemini for some of you all. Okay. But the divine is here. You're here with the lover's energy. So this is a choice in partnership to leave the bullshit behind. Okay, I'm definitely getting um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, woman. That's spying on this situation. Could be with a Scorpio energy. I'm also feeling like somebody's wanting to come out of the cold because of their emotions towards you. Okay. Ten of Pentacles energy here. This could be somebody that's wanting to move in. I'm getting a lot of moving in with the Four of Pentacles, King of Swords. Or somebody is ready to hold on to this situation for a while. This looks to me like it's long term. All right. I'm also getting um, chariot energy. Could be dealing with Cancerian. Six of Wands. There's definitely some. Man, I'm telling you. There's some people that's wanting what you're having. Gemini. Six of Wands. Chariot. There. Want, somebody is wanting. Is feeling stuck here. Like it won't go anywhere. Or there's definitely people that are clapping in admiration for you. And somebody is wanting what you got, baby. They want your life, honey. But they want you to feel stuck. Let's see what you don't see. Gemini. What does Gemini not see? Queen of Swords. You guys are... Yeah, I'm definitely kidding that some of you guys could be dealing with another water sign. Also another air sign energy. Or this just definitely could be you that feels like there's somebody who's putting a lot of judgment on some action that you've made here. But I feel with the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, you got a lot of attitudes up in this building. Somebody's willing to take an action towards you as well, Gemini. This could be somebody that's overseas or somebody that had to come to you or has to come to you. Two of Cups, Hangman, Ace of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, you guys have a lot of people that are traveling towards you. Okay, I'm also seeing um, uh, it's a lot of horses. So there could be something with cars that could be significant to you. But I'm definitely seeing that there's people that are traveling towards you or people that are wanting um, to be in your energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries with this King of Wands, Will of Fortune. So, what else for my Gemini's? Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Gemini, this is that new love. After all of this fucking love that's fucking all over the place, I'm getting that some of you guys are definitely dealing with 
having to protect your heart, but somebody has an offer for you. Definitely could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a new love. This is someone you could have met off of the internet, someone that you met just hanging around. I'm getting outside. You could be meeting this person, but I'm seeing a lot of love. I'm also getting some of you guys are having a lot of change of hearts with these different um, knights that are here. So there could be some sort of message or a messenger that's there, but I'm seeing a lot of knights here. But with the four of wands, I'm definitely seeing you choosing what is stable for you, okay? Whether or not that motherfucker likes it or not, okay? Gemini is staying ready. Let's see what the crystal is for Gemini. What is the protection crystal for my Geminis for the rest of June? All right, damn, I would choose some shit I don't even know how to pronounce. But it's called the Chiroso, Chiroso fire, fire. Oh, shit. Or it could be Chirosophite. I'm going to just spell it C H R Y S O P R A S E. And here's what it looks like. So, this is um, definitely something you could analyze when it attracts new love, abundance, and helps you prepare the system for new phases in life. So, I'm definitely seeing that something is being born to promote joy because I get that when I get green. Green is my jade. Green is my favorite color. Um, so it's definitely something of the heart chakra. So whenever you get the green color, you get the heart chakra. That's definitely healing or promoting a lot of joy coming to the heart. So you have some abundance coming. You also need some restful sleep and sleep aids for just general relaxation. There also could be some things that are bringing in positive feelings and positive flow within your heart chakra and throat and third eye. And it's also saying carry to wear and attract new relationships in your life. Put a piece under your pillow to improve the quality of your sleep. Let's see another one for my Geminis. Here we go. We got Malachite. It says it's vivid emerald green. And it's an important protective stone, particularly if you are affected by people who leech your energy. Increase personal power and self-confidence while enabling you to follow your true feelings of your heart. Acts as a shield against, it says, electromagnetic, electromagnetic disturbances. Supports the blood and healthy circulation. Okay, and as well as improving the resistance to see so for some of you guys there might be some stressful things going on in your overall energy that could you could help have that shield against you know disturbances and things and leeches and things of that nature and vampires what did i tell you with codependency so i'm definitely saying that for some of you guys you need to um definitely follow your heart this would be a beautiful stone Okay, I'm, I will definitely be checking that motherfucker out, okay? So, I feel for a lot of you Geminis, you have love coming up. You're going to be having something that needs to protect your heart. And that's a for show sure right the fuck on, okay? I'm going to see what um, the overall energies with these oracles are with my Geminis. Give me some energies for my Geminis. What's the advice? Everybody named Mama coming through today. Here we go. We have Poe. Time for change to learn some something new to use technology gadgets with wisdom. So whatever it is you're smart at with wisdom, you're going to be using a lot of that wisdom and the technology. Now, some of you guys could be doing a lot of uh, cursing and hexing. 22 could be a very influential number as well. But I'm seeing, um, it's saying somebody's going to be backing the fuck off. So don't lose help. Don't lose hope because there is help right around the motherfucking corner. Okay. And there's definitely something about your beauty that someone is irresistible to as well with the sewer mermaid. It says your sensuality is beautiful. So there's definitely something very different about you that people see in abundance. And there you're also going to see it in yourself. But there's also people you're going to have to back off. Or they're going to have to, you know, step the fuck off. But I see a lot of new love coming in. So, my loves, I hope that this was very helpful for some of you guys. If you need to get a personal reading from me, hit that description box down below. And check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes. 
and deviation workings and things of that nature. So I'll see you guys in the next video.